So I tested the balanced power plan that comes stock standard with Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11 against the Bitsum Haas performance power plan. And which one do you think performs better in game? Let's find out. Hi there guys, it's Justin here again. As alluded to in the intro, I compared the performance of the balanced power plan, the one that comes preloaded with Windows 10 and 11. Now, back in the day, you used to get an option between power saver, balanced, and high performance. And then you could also load the ultimate performance power plan by CMD. It's not no longer the case. So stock standard Windows gets loaded with one power plan and I've still not found a way to get more than one power plan active at one particular time. So you get the balanced power plan with Windows 10 and 11 and then you get a slider that goes from battery saver balanced to high performance but it's all in the balanced power plan. So I compared that power plan against the Bitsum highest performance power plan it's the same it's exactly the same as the ultimate performance power plan um, and what i did is i compared those those two different power plans in benchmarks of eight games what i did was this all games were played at medium settings preset and i used nvidia's um, driver 522.25 and then what it did is, uh, obviously I've got balanced over here, so it's on the, on the left hand side I've got balanced, and I've got the bits and highest performance plan on the right. And then what I did is I benchmarked all games at medium on driver 522.25, so Spider-Man Remastered, Uncharted, The Thief's End, which is Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, obviously the first section, Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Days Gone, Control, God of War, AC Odyssey, and Rise of the Tomb Raider. So for balanced, uh, my average FPS was 85 FPS for Spider-Man Remastered. For Uncharted the Thief's End, 65 FPS. Rise of the Zero Dawn, 83 FPS. Days Gone, 63 FPS. Control, 58 FPS. God of War, 62 FPS. And Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 66 FPS. And then Rise of the Tomb Raider, 89.26 fps so that was for the balance power plan with the slider all the way through to high performance then the power plan that i had to specially load the bits and highest performance plan for spider-man remastered we got one higher fps so it's 86 fps as opposed to 85 fps and try to the thief's end there was no difference in the performance 65 and 65 Horizon Zero Dawn, yet again, no difference in performance, 83 FPS versus 83 FPS. Days Gone, this is where the, uh, this is where there's a bit of variance in performance. Days Gone was 63 FPS on the balanced power plan. For the bits and highest performance power plan, I got 65 FPS. For Control, I got 60 FPS in the bits and highest performance plan, which is too higher than the balanced power plan. God of War, I've got 63 FPS as opposed to the 62 FPS on balance. And then for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I've got 70 FPS as opposed to 66 FPS on balance. Rise of the Tomb Raider, not a hell of a lot of difference, but I've got an 89.98 FPS as opposed to the 89.26 FPS. So as you can see, there's not a major difference, but there, you do get a, a little bit of extra performance in a majority of games and more performance whether it's small or big more performance is always great so then what i did is i added all those fps's up for balanced and bits and highs performance power plan respectively and for balanced over the eight games my total fps was 571.26 fps and then because i played eight games i divided that 571.26 by it and my average FPS per game on bit on that balance power plan was 71.41 and then for the bits and highest performance power plan I added up all the average FPS's my total FPS amount was 581.98 FPS 
and then I divided that by eight again and I got 72.75 FPS. So as you can see, there's a net gain of one and a half FPS average, average per game by using the bits and highest performance power plan as opposed to the balance power plan with the slider all the way to performance. So guys, because you can't load the ultimate performance power plan by CMD any, anymore, what I am going to do, if you are interested, and I highly suggest that you do, um, if you want to load the bits and highest performance power plan, I'm going to link a video at the end of this video. Just give it that to watch. Download the two files. It's going to look like this. Install power plan and then the, the bits and highest performance POW file. And it just shows you how to run it and then it installs and deletes all the other power plans and it just installs the bits and highest performance power plan for you. So it's not a crazy amount of extra performance, but at the end of the day, any bit of performance that you gain is free performance and free performance is great. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button. If you do have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, really, I'm looking to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of December. It's a tall ask. So if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet, if you do enjoy this type of content, and you, hell, if you want some testing done, hit me up in the comment section. I'm happy to test anything for you. So please subscribe, please smash that like button, but most importantly, have a good day, and as people like you, they make a difference. Cheers.